Hello students, we shall now begin with the next topic, transportation problem. Introduction. So what is transportation problem? By the name itself, we can understand that the transportation problem deals with transporting of goods from M sources to N destination. So what are these M sources? M sources are also known as godowns, warehouses, suppliers. So from this source, we have to transport the goods to the place to which it has to reach. And that is known as destination. It is also known as demand requirement. So the idea of the transportation problem is, the, is transporting goods from M sources to N destination. Next, we shall see the representation of a transportation problem. How do we represent a transportation problem? In general, the transportation problem is represented as an M cross N matrix. The elements of this matrix represents the cost of transporting one unit from ith source to jth destination. Now, what is this M? M represents the number of rows, that is the sources. And N represents the number of columns, that is the destinations. So, a transportation problem is represented in the form of a matrix. And next we have the aim of transportation problem. What is the aim of a transportation problem? The main aim of a transportation problem is to minimize the transportation cost. That is, we want to transport goods from M sources to N destination. This will carry out some cost and we want to minimize that cost. So that is the aim of the transportation problem. So now we can we understand that the main aim of the transportation problem is to minimize the transportation cost. Or we can also say that we want to maximize the profit. The profit that we take by trans transforming the goods that has to be maximized. Obviously Every time when we do a business, we want to maximize our profit and definitely we want to reduce the cost. So that is the main aim of this transportation problem also. That is to minimize the transportation cost and to maximize the profit. Now what are the types of transportation problem we know? There are two types in general that is balanced transportation problem and unbalanced transportation problem. So what is the difference between a balanced and an unbalanced transportation problem? So for a balanced problem, the total supply and the demand will be same. That is, the supply that takes out from M sources will be same as the requirement that we uh, need. So when the total supply is equal to the total demand, it will come under balanced transportation problem if they are not equal that is if the total supply is not equal to the total demand it will come under unbalanced transportation problem in which case we have to balance the problem and then we have to solve it now we shall learn about the solutions of a transportation problem there are uh, different types of solutions they are feasible solution basic feasible solution, non-degenerate basic feasible solution, degenerate basic feasible solution and optimal solution. So now first we shall see what is a feasible solution. So a feasible solution to a transportation problem is a set of non-negative allocations that satisfies the rim restrictions. So what are the rim restrictions at a, uh, that is actually when the total supply is equal to the total demand that necessary and sufficient condition is known as the rim restrictions. So when a solution satisfies that restriction then it is known as a feasible solution. So the next definition is basic feasible solution. A basic feasible solution first it has to be a feasible solution and then it contains no more than m plus n negative 1 non-negative allocations. So the allocations will not be more than m plus n negative 1. Now what is this n? n repre m represents the number of rows. n represents the number of columns. 
and when we uh, take m plus n negative 1 it will be not that is the allocations will not be more than m plus n negative 1 so such a solution is known as basic feasible solution and then we have the non-degenerate basic feasible solution first it has to be a basic feasible solution and it contains exactly m plus n negative 1 non-negative allocations that is when the number of allocation is equal to m plus n negative 1 then it will come under non-degenerate basic feasible solution and the allocations that is m plus n negative 1 allocations are independent of their positions next we have degenerate basic feasible solution a basic feasible solution in which the total number of non-negative allocations is less than m plus n negative 1 then such a uh, solution is known as degenerate basic feasible solution that is the number of allocations will be lesser than this value so when it is uh, exactly equal to m plus n negative 1 it is a non-degenerate basic feasible solution but if it is lesser than m plus n negative 1 then it comes under the de degeneracy case so degenerate basic feasible solution and next we have the optimal solution so what is optimal solution a feasible solution that minimizes the transportation cost or maximizes the profit so the main aim of the problem is to minimize the transportation cost or to maximize the profit when this is satisfied then such a solution is known as optimal solution so a solution that optimizes a problem is known as optimal solution so what is that optimizes it maximizes the transportation cost or minim i mean uh, uh, minimizes the transportation cost or maximizes the profit next we have the different methods for finding initial basic feasible solution the first method that we will be learning under this topic is north west corner rule method also known as nwcr method or nwcm so north west corner rule method and then we will be learning about least cost entry method so lcm method so least cost method and then we will be learning about row minima method and then about column minima method and the most appropriate method for solving a transportation problem is known as ogles approximation method which gives the very closest solution so so ogles approximation method gives us the most approximate solution so you may get it in mcqs also so out of all the methods which is the most approximate method to solve a transportation problem the answer will be ogles approximation method so these are the various method that we we will be learning to find the initial basic feasible solution now after finding the initial basic feasible solution we would like to know that whether the same solution is the optimal solution the method for finding an optimal solution is known as modified distribution method that is m o d i method this method is applied to find the optimal transportation cost it can be applied only if the number of allocations is equal to the number of that is m plus n negative 1 when we see this we can recollect just now we learnt that uh, that if the total number of non-negative allocations is equal is exactly m plus n negative 1 then it is a non-degenerate basic feasible solution so to find the optimal solution definitely it has to be a non-degenerate basic feasible solution then only we can proceed so the method for finding the optimal solution is modified distribution method in short modi method hope you have understood all the basic concepts of transportation problem next we shall move on in our next video we will be learning about the different methods of solving a transportation problem where the first method that we will be learning is northwest corner uh, rule so i conclude the video here thank you for your patient listening